explosive. If you've just joined us, we're in Paris at the Zenith to bring you more Muay Thai. Sofiane Alouache. There's the stats. 86 wins, 11 losses, 43 KOs. His opponent, Farid Villon. Again of France. 56 wins, 4 losses. No knockouts. Crunch that math. I'll run it over you again. Sofiane Alouache of France. Finding out of the red corner, he's 27 years old. 1 meter 82, 69.8 kilograms. An impressive 86 wins, 11 losses, and an equally impressive 43 KOs. His opponent, Farid Villon, again of France, out of the blue corner, 29 years of age, 1 meter 75. 69 kilograms, 56 wins, 4 losses. So, Sofiane Alouache describes his style as full contact. Farid Villam describes his style as Muay Thai. But they're both at it hard and fast at the opening. Villam in the purple trunks. Sofian Alouash in the black. Immense experience from these two men. And as you'd expect, the action crisp from the off. This is a Muay Thai super welterweight bout. Again, five three minute rounds. Very rangy, these guys. 1 meter 82 and 1 meter 75. Good, good range. And I have to say that the, athlete, the level of athleticism required for five three minute rounds is just astonishing and you just have to look at these boys they're cut they're strong and really extolling all the virtues that we know to be good Oof. little left hand there hello are you in my goodness That came from nowhere. Referee checking he's all right, but uh, Sofiane Alouache really needs to have a care. That was uh, a cute, cute little punch. It was a left, it came from nowhere, didn't seem to have a lot of power in it, but uh, Farid Villam knocked on the door of Sofiane Alouache to see if anyone was in, and he didn't get an answer. I suspect he'll want to put on the pressure now, but he should have a care because um, Alouache would recover it and connects with the right of his own. Oh, he's looking to throw some big ones in. Oh, and this is good work now. Very good work now from Villon. Farid Villon of France making an incredible comeback there after taking a standing count. Oh, well, my goodness me. The pressure, just too much. And Sofiane Alouash takes another standing count from the referee. And the referee, the referee says, that's it, it's all over. And yet, Sofiane Alouash may disagree, and so may the crowd. 
and so may his corner. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again, judicious refereeing in MT is paramount for the sake not only of the fighters, but of the sport. Two counts, and it was the referee's decision that Sofiane Alouash could not continue. An immensely unpopular decision, but hey, the referee is not there to make friends. He's there to protect the fighters and protect the sport. And I have to say that that first left, although he disputed that he'd been hurt by it, was really a corker. Well, we've seen it many times, and I think that uh, that's the referee's job. It is unpopular when a decision like that is made, but um, the referee's there not to make friends. He's there to protect the fighters and the image of the sport. Well, even Farid Villam, whilst happy with the decision, he's saying, I don't really know what's gone on. Uh, you know, I tagged him a couple of times, but... Uh, but the referee's decision is final. And you can say what you like, but at the end of the day, you have to err on the side of caution because there is no room for error. There is no room for error. You can only make one mistake. So for all the seemingly wrong decisions, there's only room for one mistake. And they take it in good faith. Both fighters hug each other, and that's the spirit we like to see. We're going to go and have a chat with uh, Farid Villon. We'll get the decision first. So, well, excuse me, uh, viewers, if I'm getting a little emphatic on the point. But um, there it is. So we're going to go and have a chat with Villon who's uh, back in his changing room. The public gets frustrated, yeah, but it's not the public who get hurt. After two counts in the same round, the referee had to stop the fight. OK, if the fight's allowed to continue, maybe a fighter can pull it back, but maybe he could get really hurt. And for sure, if the fight continues, I'm going to finish it. So, it's too dangerous. Donc après c'est vrai que s'il reprend plus un mauvais coup c'est plus dangereux. Donc voilà. Merci. Well, there's the shots. 